There's chickens everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> They're escaped. <laughs> They're everywhere. Get inside there. Get inside. <laughs> Housing the chickens in our house was probably never a great idea but we just didn't have the resources or the infrastructure to finish the barn, and now we do, and maybe these chickens escaping was a push that we needed to get work on this. I'm Danielle from the Slitero Farm, and today we're showing you how we're turning our old shabby barn into a beautiful and functioning chicken coop, as well as home for our rabbits, so come along for the journey. What well, we got coming here? Two things. One, Danielle has continued to think that doing a wheelbarrow method is good for your body and mind. However, I think a ATV would be a lot better for my body at least. And second, looks like when the guy came in to uh, drop off our rocks, he just busted up our beautiful tree. That's unfortunate. Not happy about that. Not happy about that at all. Might not look like a lot, but boy. We got a lot done so far you can see the ground is miserable dragging this thing but well, we only got a certain amount of time until this barn has to be ready so you can see the uh, ground was obviously all all dirt and previously there was just dirt and what I did was I came in here and I leveled it out as best as I could not perfect but it's good as I can do it um, and then I put down this uh, if you look at my finger for comparison it's just a quarter quarter inch mesh wire um, we we read online that people who had pole barns and uh, wood floor barns um, typically had issues with rodents and other animals coming in so if you see here you have quarter inch running all the way up to the wall it's behind this as well and then uh, stapled into the wall as well as having this piece of wood um, on a, all corners just making sure that it's extra tight in there and also serving as like a uh, support to the base um, so i've come in here and i've started to put out the gravel to layer on so that we can uh take care of our moisture problem um, the chickens will be way above the water line uh you can see that over here how we were having a little bit of mud, muddy issue but the couple inches of uh uh number number 57 i think it's just general rock um should be good also another thing just just in case you know we got those uh houdini foxes it is uh screwed uh, nailed into the wall stapled into the wall overlapped over one each other not one another and zip tied together every six inches i don't think anything's getting in here but i guess we'll see all right well time for lunch and then uh back to it we took it all off everything under the underhang was awful quality wood and we just had to take it down we are going to put some chicken wire up so that predators can't get in during the summer but we really need to worry our time and resources on the inside so let's show you what we're doing inside the barn we're, we're going to put a uh, rubber mats down here and then we're going to um, put six to twelve inches of mulch and cover it all up get a wire cloth mesh something or other for the ceiling here so nothing can come in we got some holes we gotta fix the purpose of the chips on the ground is because uh chickens scratch and um they'll, they'll just keep going they, they like roll around in it they they scratch uh that's gonna make nice mulch uh, um, for your plants also but they go down like pretty deep so if you have six inches they're gonna they're gonna get to the rubber mats pretty quick 
we're gonna use the rubber mat so that's way easier to clean. Uh, right now, we, as you can see, we did the rock method, which is gonna be a cheaper strategy. I mean, it's 300 bucks for all of the rock, 11 tons for our entire barn, and the whole floor of the barn and the outside will be uh, rock because we have a very like wet area over here where we're kind of like on the border of wetlands almost. Um, so in our area that's very muddy around the barn, um, we want to keep it drier, so we're going to do the rocks. And then for in here, like I was mentioning, the, the mats is just so that the mulch going directly on the rocks can be a lot harder to clean up than going in here with a snow shovel and scraping over the uh, over the mats um, to collect the, the excrement and um, the old mulch that we use for the garden. And then bring some new stuff in through this door here with the, the wheelbarrow. But, all right, let's get back to it. Today is a very exciting day. We had some people come to like do work on the power lines or something, but they dropped off chips. Yeah, they had to chip the trees for some reason. So we ended up just asking them if they could drop the chipped wood that they had and they were so happy. So I definitely highly suggest. We've also signed up for chip drop which we signed up probably two or three weeks ago and haven't seen anything. So I read that it was a little bit harder to get chips that way, but we're hoping that they <laughs> drop those off. But as the next step to our barn, we have done a few things to get ready for the chickens. So I'm gonna show you that really quick and then we're gonna start to load the chips in. Okay. <sighs> so I'm standing in our future chicken coop. So this is the section of the barn that is gonna be devoted to our chickens. And we have a few additions that we've made. First off, we did add some more rocks or gravel on the bottom. You saw in some of the earlier footage that we did that. We added a little bit more so everything was level. And then we actually added a few really exciting stuff. So let's get to it. On top of the floor, we added these mats. They are four by six livestock mats that we got from Tractor Supply. And what we're going to be doing is we lined up all of the edges and this is gonna do a few things. First off, it's gonna make it easier to clean the floor. We just wanted a really easy, simple solution that would make it so that we could just shovel out the floor and clean it because you are gonna to want to do that pretty often. And next up, it is gonna help with some additional reinforcement from animals coming in from the outside. We kind of jitty rigged these and this is gonna be for the chickens so that they can roost on here. Now for the fun stuff, I'm going to be laying chips on top of here. And let me just say, the chips are great. Free is wonderful, we love free. But the quality is a little low, there's some really big branches. So I think it's gonna take some additional time to just like pick out some of those branches and do some work there. So I'm gonna grab my gloves and do some work. Let's go. Honestly, that seems like it's a lot more work than it was, but I am going to take a little break and let one of the rabbits into the chicken tractor. I think that they've just been cooped up in their little cages for too long, so we're gonna stick one in the rabbit tractor, well, chicken tractor, and let them get some fresh air. Okay, we're going to let her hang out here. Paige can hang out with her too because they seem to have a bond and we're gonna get back to work. So let's go. So we finally moved the chickens out and here's the final barn. So we have one last securing the door, but because you saw it's a very old wobbly barn, um, we have this secondary lock, which kind of just pushes the base down to the wall. So there's, there's no spacing anywhere for some critter to crawl in. Also, we have chicken wire at the top around the entire thing, uh, just in case, um, you know, we have, we have vultures in the area and they're actually always trying to get into the barn. Uh, so they're not gonna go in there and have a feast. 
So here we have it. Got a little heat lamp corner just because it's a little cold right now. You don't really need that. These guys are all running around nice and happy. Got the nesting boxes, the perches for hanging out. And these big guys are always trying to look for more food. So I hope you enjoyed the renovation of our barn. Uh, that's all from Slidar Farm. Like, subscribe, follow. See you later. All of a sudden, uh, we're, we're sitting down with the dog is in the bedroom, and the dog is just like, what's going on? And a chicken walks in. <laughs> then he yelled through the ball, I guess, and it opened the top of the crate. I have no idea how it got out. But I hope for nicer weather so that uh, we can put them in the bar.